What's up everyone, Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California and we got another breakdown for you today on Nick Foles. I love doing Nick Foles, he is a stud of a quarterback. If he doesn't end up playing more quarterback for the Eagles, he will definitely end up playing more quarterback somewhere else because he just does a good job of, of staying cool, calm, and collected and has a does a really good job as well as getting the ball out of his hands quickly. So we'll get a little bit into, into really both of those there. So first I guess we could just go and start with like a... Um, just his, his full deep throw here, letting it rip up top. Uh, and, and I like the deep throw just because you can see here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I know that makes it so the quality is not as good, but um, it makes it so we can see it a little bit better. Notice that when he, he's going in, he's pushing off, and he's getting his, his weight. Um, as, as he's shifting the, the weight of his bottom, bottom part of his body forward, notice how he's able to keep like this angle back so he has some some of his weight backwards i see a lot of guys especially when they're throwing the deep ball have a hard time keeping some of their weight back and, and again see how he's kind of angled like that and how he has still a good amount of weight back so then as he's coming through he's almost coming up and forward in the throw notice that up and forward as he's letting go of the ball so he's generating a lot more force because he's going upwards as well as coming all the way through which you know, again, helps him throw the ball just that much further. We'll get it from the front as well here. Um, all right. So then looking here, steps up. And notice how when he's pushing, how he gets those hips going, right? See how the hips go, and then the upper body comes through, and then he uses, he does a really good job of using his spine rotation to get him all the way through. Oh, sorry, that was a bad arrow there. But he gets that, that spine to come all the way through. And I, I, mean, I want to say the, the guys that really have that, that really good release has plenty of rotation through that mid-back and thoracic spine. And notice how he, he lands with all of his weight all the way up and forward and through. Um, really does a great job of throwing the ball there. And we'll take a look now more to slant. But, and this is where you can really see how that rotation through the middle part of his body. See how he's going? He, he opens up to the left side. He gets, he pushes off the, the ground first, gets those hips rotating. But then from there, what's really good is look at how well he rotates in his thoracic spine as he's coming through and then finishes all the way through as well. And what I mean by thoracic spine is this area right in there. Watch how much that area rotates as he's coming through. I'll go, go in slow motion. See how much he's, he's turning through there and using that to, to really generate a good amount of force. And then again, look at how he's finishing all the way through, all the way forward. I'm seeing guys that are having a hard time getting all of their weight through. you got to get all the way up onto that front leg in order to be able to maximize your ability to throw the ball. And this is a good one where you could see him really stay poised in the pocket. He skips back to that, that um, back of his drop. And then notice, he, I mean, he's got Clowney and Watt coming at him. He steps in the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield. Goes, loads himself up. Look how he loads himself up with that right arm. First gets that right leg down the ground. Drives off that right leg. Gets all of his weight producing forward. And then from there, you can still see how he has a good amount of his weight back as he's coming all the way forward. And again, look at how he finishes all the way through the throw. His left leg even comes back and through as he's finishing. So really doing a great job of getting all of his weight into that throw and you know he starts a little bit lower look how low he starts with that ball and really you know what we've been finding is that guys that load up that that ball all the way are able to get a little bit more on their actual ball so they're able to throw the ball a little bit further have a little bit more overall power behind their throw velocity behind their throw which i think is what a lot of guys are looking for so if you're looking to try to get that you know trying to bring you know, bring that ball a little bit down at the beginning because, look, he's, he's keeping it secure, but then when he starts to load, he brings that ball down a little bit, and that makes it so now as he finishes and, and goes through the entire motion, he's able to get his entire body up and through and also uses his entire arm to really put a lot on the ball. Again, he was pressured right there and puts that ball absolutely on the money. Just a great throw. Um, and, and one of the reasons why he, you know, to me, he definitely should be a starter somewhere within the, the NFL, and he probably will be. Um, you know, if not for the Eagles and for somebody else. So, uh, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching these breakdowns. If you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below. We'll try to get to as many of them as we can. We'll try to stay with more of the relevant people just because the the more relevant guys, the, the more people that are interested in seeing them, 
Um, the guys that are a little bit older, not we have, we've noticed not as much interest. So that's why um, for all the people that have been commenting, the older guys, that's why we don't always do that. Um, but yeah, if you guys also want to check out our online throw program, I would definitely recommend doing that. We have a lot of great information there. And you know, anybody that, that's been a part of our online program has definitely seen a lot of value in terms of under, better understanding the throw, better understanding what they can do with their own mechanics. Also, and almost more importantly, what they can do from a body perspective and strength and conditioning perspective inside of either the weight room, their house, whatever, to make it so they can put on the right range of motion and the right types of strength to help them in succeeding as a quarterback. Because it's not only about the mechanics, it's also about having the strength within the body and understanding how to use your body in a way to fully maximize your overall performance. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it, and if you did, you can subscribe down below, and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get. Also, if you want to, you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing. We have exercises, also jumping mechanics videos, a lot of great stuff within our channel. Hope you enjoy.